Hi, my name is Amanda. We're going to jump right into this week and what I plan to read. If you saw my wrap up from last weekend, you know that I got a haircut, I went on a road trip, and I finished every audiobook that I had planned for February. And we still have a whole week left. <laughs> so I have actually already started one of the books for March that was just one of my old authors like continuing a series kind of book not anything that I'm buddy reading with anybody but I've decided that for this week I am going to work on finishing or continuing series that I started in February I'm just going to read those this week so I'm going to read Travelers by Brett Riley this is the second book after Freaks which I just finished and I'm going to read Bonds of Chaos which is the third book in the trilogy the Threadlight trilogy by Zach Argyle that I've been reading the good thing is both of these are self-published books which I always like to do and so those are going to be my focus this week those two books and that's it We'll see. I mean, I'm going to say The Desert and the Drum, guys. I have to finish this book. And I did read more of it this weekend than I have <laughs> before. So I'm going to focus on that. That's going to be the majority of my extra reading time is going to be The Desert and the Drum. My goal is to finish it by Tuesday. That's what I want to do is finish it by Tuesday. Then I will jump into the Dresden graphic novel that we have next and then finally end the month reading Phantom Evil and that'll be all of my physical books as well. So hopefully everything will go just the way I have it planned. So I have two audiobooks and I have three physical books, one graphic novel, two books. So that is the plan and hopefully I get to it this week. So Janko is cold this morning of course like every morning and he's wearing his pineapple pineapple onesie and I'm sitting outside because I'm a little bit hot since I just finished my workout and he is refusing to go inside even though he's cold so he wants me to hold him out here look she doesn't care she's going in <laughs> but he wants me to hold him out here so that he can still be out here with me but also not be cold well she's just going to patiently wait for me to come inside okay so let me tell you then where I am and what's going on first of all I got a haircut which everybody knew I was going to Arkansas to get it and I haven't even fixed it this morning so I'm sorry mama I just woke up and worked out and then fixed my hair anyway I am reading Bonds of Chaos which is the third book in the Threadlight series and that is what I'm going to be working on today, but I've got some other plans, not other plans, but the Heather Graham book that I, we're going to have to go inside, Django one hush. the Heather Graham book, also apparently there are sirens around here, anyway, the Heather Graham book that I, that I have a physical copy of that I was planning to read, I'm going to check in my library and see if they have an audio version of it, and I'm going to read that while I'm still reading in the desert and the drum. Y'all, I did not read one page of it yesterday. And it's not that it's a bad book. It's that I cannot make myself just sit down and just read. If I'm doing something else, if I'm crocheting, even if I'm playing a game, for some reason, that does not seem as bad to me as, or it doesn't seem as non-productive to me as playing, as just reading. So, I don't know. Anyway, it's hard for me to just sit down and just read. But I'm definitely gonna do that today. My husband's off, but I'm not. So I'm about to get in there and get work done. I'm gonna work the first half of the day and then the second half we're gonna go to a museum. We live in near Montgomery, Alabama, and they have a ton of stuff about civil rights and the civil rights movement here in the United States. So we're going to what's called the Legacy Museum today. And I'll talk to you more about it after we after we've gone through it, so I know what it is. But anyway, I'm focusing on Bonds of Chaos and the Desert and the Drum today. Okay, we're getting ready to go. The museum is actually closed today. It is President's Day. So we're going to go to a, I don't know, antique mall place. We looked for a couple other museums. They're all closed. So we're gonna go to an antique mall, but I have been reading more of Bonds of Chaos in the middle of working, in between the working, and something very cool has just happened. Like one of those, almost like a time travel-y switched up thing where you're like, wait, what? 
and then you realize something from book one that happened in book three or that you now know what happened in book one because of what you just learned in book three. Anyway, one of those mind-blowing moments just happened and I love it. Anyway, we're off to go shop. Through the narrow gate. Oh, had pictures too. I think oh, yeah. like what it is. What's that? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh, how do you do that? You fold them. No, thank you. There are patterns about how oh, to do it. Gosh. Those are cool. I wouldn't want them because I hate hey, them. I like how many F's they have. Do they have any W's? Yes. Well, good morning. Here we are again in my bedroom with my wedding pictures. <laughs> um, anyway, I still haven't finished a book, but I'm really close on Bonds of Chaos. And I am now about 70% of the way of the way through the desert and the drum. I... We had a little family emergency yesterday. I kept wanting to check in with you guys last night to tell you what was going on, but I just didn't. Anyway, oh, wow, this is amazing this morning. I, our dog got bit by the neighbor and not, <laughs> not by the neighbor, by the neighbor's dog. And they, we know the neighbors and we know that there's an issue with our fence being too high. And so she was able to get under it a little and she was barking at them and she ran over and got under it enough that they, one of them, bit her. So she had to go to the vet and then they think that there is one of her little bones in the front part of her leg is broken and so they're waiting for the surgeon to come around this morning. They kept her overnight. And they're waiting for the surgeon this morning to come and say whether or not she's going to need surgery. The doctor that was with her all night last night doesn't think she's going to because of the way the break is. She thinks that they can just wrap it. And so that's it. But she needed some stitches. And then the doctor that was with her last night also said that she was up this morning and even trying to put a little bit of weight on her leg and that she wags her tail and tries to jump into her arms every time she sees her. So that all sounds great and positive. She did really well being put to sleep to get sutured and everything. So we're just waiting to hear anything today and I will update you when I hear it. So I don't have a real book update this morning, but I just wanted to let you know what was going on with little Skeeter and poor Django doesn't know what's happening. Like he's alone in the house and he's wandering from room to room and he won't leave me alone. And yeah, he doesn't know what's going on. He wants Skeeter back too. So we will go get her um, this afternoon. But anyway, that is my little update today. I don't have good news about a book or good news about Skeeter. Well, I guess I do have good news in addition to the bad news. <laughs> anyway. I'll be back. I should finish Bonds of Chaos. I'm actually going to take a little bit of time this morning because I got up earlier than I normally do to um, to hear the doctor doctor's report this morning. And so I, since I'm up, I think I'm going to read a little bit of Bonds of Chaos. So maybe I'll be able to finish it earlier than I think, but at least by tonight I will finish. Okay, you get a different view of my bedroom because the lighting is really nice over here by the window. Anyway, I finished. I finished Bonds of Chaos, which means I have read the entire Threadlight series. I think it might be called Threadlight Archive or something. Why do I think that's what it's called? Anyway, I finished it. It was so good. It was one of those like, okay, so there's a quote on the front to the cover. And it says, this is how you finish a series. And I think that's absolutely true. Like, that book shows how you wrap up a trilogy in a satisfying way. I said the same thing about Brandon Sanderson's um, 
it's the hero, it's the Mistborn, it must be the first Mistborn trilogy, where things don't work out, where it's all like, oh, and they all live happily ever after. But it works out in a real way, where if you have horrible things happening to an entire country, the handful of people that you are closest to are not all going to magically live while everybody else around them dies. Like, that's just not how the world works. And I think that, I know that Brandon Sanderson wrote the end also of The Wheel of Time, but the same thing happened there when I think that Robert Jordan was supposed to be the one that had it planned out for The Wheel of Time and Brandon Sanderson just carried it out. But I think that the same thing happened there where there there were real consequences and real sacrifices that were made for to defeat the thing. And that's another thing that I really love about this series as a whole, not just Bonds of Chaos, but when you are beginning a journey in a fantasy world, and it's not even like a destiny thing, but there is a lore that's passed down that the gods are going to return or whatever. And you assume that that means the gods will return to help the oppressed or help you not be the way your your people have been or been perceived the whole time. And you find out that maybe that's not it. Maybe the gods coming back is not going to help anybody. So that was a nice twist and I really liked it a lot. So maybe I should put the spoiler up. So editing me would have put a spoiler over there. So hopefully nobody got spoiled. I don't think it's a big spoiler, but I think that it's a unique twist that I don't see in a lot of these. And I'm glad that it was in there. Anyway, this was fantastic. Here's what I've decided to do next. Phantom Evil is the physical book that I have in my house that I need to read or I want to read by Heather Graham. I can also get this on script. And so it doesn't cost me extra money. I'm not using a credit to do it or anything. I'm not even renting it from the library because they did not have it. Also, I called it renting instead of borrowing from the library. That's weird. But anyway, I'm not even getting it from the library because they did not have the audio version. So I'm using Scribd and I'm going to be listening when I can listen and then read the physical book when I can read the physical book. And that will put me as just having the desert and the drum be the only thing that I have left to read this week. So I'm going to finish Phantom Evil. Well, actually, I haven't even started it. So today I'm going to start Phantom Evil at when I can listen, like when I have to go pick up the dog. So I got a news, news about her. They're going to send her own home and... I'm going to just handle her, just wound care for the next two days, and she will go back in on Thursday, and the surgeon will then decide if we need to do surgery for the bone break or not. So that's where we are right now with the dog update. I still do not have her. I do have Django, though, who is sitting up here with me on the, uh, on the bench looking out the window. So anyway, um, Django is just out of sorts because he doesn't have a sister here. So anyway, that's it. That is my update on Stones of Light. I got also, or not Stones of Light, Bonds of Chaos. I gave it five stars as well, which means the whole series as a whole, five stars, five stars. You guys should go read it. You can read it for free. All three books are on YouTube. You can listen for free. You should do that. Well, good morning. It is Wednesday morning and I finished Phantom Evil. I don't know what I think about it. it. It it was not what I expected. It was definitely not a paranormal romance, although it had paranormal elements and it had romance elements, but it was more of a mystery thriller that is going to be like a series where we follow this group of detectives or group of, they're not all detectives. Anyway, so we start out with a crime and well, we start out with a death and somebody has hired these people to come in and investigate because he thinks that his wife was murdered, but it's been ruled a suicide. So we follow this group of people who have been brought together for this job. It is set in New Orleans and they are blaming the ghosts of the house. So that was a really cool part of it where we got to hear the history of the house and like the horrible stuff that had happened there before in the 1800s and everything. And 
just a lot of stuff about New Orleans in general. The back of it says, a secret government unit, a group of renegade paranormal investigators, and a murder no one else can crack. So, Jackson Crow is the leader of this group, and he is from the Behavioral Analysis Unit in the FBI. And they have given him a group to work with because his last team recently all got killed on a serial killer hunt that they were on. But anyway, that's not in this book. So, they're hunting down and trying to prove if it was a ghost that killed this lady or not. And that's what this book is about. So, I mean, I think I'm going to go with three and a half stars. Even for what it was, I don't think that it was done as well as some other, some others. Now, I feel like this is her first, this is the first book in this series. And I know that there are a lot of books. So, I'm definitely going to continue on to book two. Not right now, but I'm going to put it on my list. And when I get to it, I'll read it. And hopefully, they get better. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't fantastic. So I'm going to actually do some work and think about what I'm going to read next because it's so weird. It's the 22nd. I have still six days left in this month and I have no idea what to read. I've already read one book for next month. So I don't know. My son and I developed a reading game that he wants to play um, because he wants to use it to choose what he reads next. So I maybe will show you that in a little while because we just finished it yesterday. And maybe I'll use that to like see what my next read should be. We'll see. Okay, so I sat here for a few minutes. I don't have a breakfast update for you because it's gone. Anyway, (laughs) I sat here for a few minutes and decided I have a list of like categories. First of all, Django really needs to say hi. There he is. The baby girl is doing better. She put some weight on her foot this morning. So that's good. When she when I took her outside, she like walked on it a lot better than she was yesterday on her leg. So we take her back tomorrow for an update. Anyway, let's talk about reading. I made a list of the the Gerbatathon books, which are the Sims thing, the Sims read along that I'm doing. It's a year-long read-along, so I have all year to do these, but I'm trying to get people aged up, and there's certain things that they have to have, like prompts that they have to fulfill, and I don't know that I'm just going to fulfill those from reading, like my normal reading, so I wrote a few of them down, and there's a couple of award winners that I need to read for some of my people, and the good news is that the Wayward Children series is one of those. However... I'm looking for an audiobook right now, so I will be starting this as soon as possible because I can't add that into this thing, but I need an audiobook for right now. So, I was looking at my list, and I was like, I already own A Perilous Undertaking, which is book two in the Veronica Speedwell series. I loved book one so, so much that I immediately went out and got book two. So I was like, why don't I listen to that? So that's going to be my audiobook. I'm so excited to get back to Veronica and Stoker. How do I even know their names after like nine months since I read the first book? I cannot wait. So that's what I'm going to be jumping into next. I probably won't get a chance for a little while because I have quite a bit of editing to do today. But once my work is done, I will be reading Veronica and Stoker. Well, here are all of the medicines and the remnants of Skeeter's situation right now. Anyway, she is at the vet right now. It is Thursday morning. (laughs) I've taken her back to the vet. They're going to be evaluating her and seeing if she needs surgery or not. So we're all really hoping for no surgery because it's going to be really expensive. Okay, I am halfway done with the Veronica Speedwell book. I'll put it right here, but I don't remember what it's called. A Perilous Undertaking. That's what I'm guessing. We'll see if I'm right. Anyway, I am loving this. Like, I just forgot how much I love these characters. So, so good. I just, uh, 
Like, I cannot, I don't know why I waited so long to read. I am definitely going to space these out because I don't want to read them all and then just be left sad. But I don't want to wait six months again like I did this time. So I'm going to make a commitment that every other month I'm going to read the next Veronica Speedwell book. So since I read it in February, I'm going to read the next one in April. So I am listening to that. That's what I read on the way here and back. I'm almost done with The Desert and the Drum. So I'm definitely going to finish it today and come in here and talk about it. Tomorrow, I will probably come talk about the end of Veronica Speedwell book and close everything out. But today, I'll be back when I find out news about Skeeter and what she's going to be doing next. Oh, they're calling me right now. Good news. We're doing nothing. He said that everything looks really good, that she's got to have six weeks of restricted activity. Wow. I mean, she's not a super active dog anyway, but she's little. So everything she does requires her to like jump, like even coming in and out of the house on the little step this month, she still has to like jump because she's so tiny. Anyway, Django is losing his mind. He wants his friend back. I know, babe. I'm going to go get her, I promise. <laughs> and um, and that's it. So I'm going to listen to some more Veronica because apparently I literally have been home about 10 minutes and I'm about to drive back across town and pick her up another hour in the car. Wow. Good morning. I think this is the only room in my house that I have not recorded from so far. So I'm in the living room. There's Django. Anyway, he can see out the window right there. It's a nice overcast day this Friday. And I finished a perilous undertaking. It was so good. Like, just as good as I knew it would be, it was. And I, it's really hard for me to not just go straight into book three. Because I know how good it's going to be. And I just want to do it. Anyway, I'm not going to. I am actually not going to start an audiobook until later tonight. And what I'm going to work on is reading the graphic novel for the Dresden Files that we're on. And then listening to the short story novella that goes along with the Dresden Files read along for this month. And I'm not sure what the names of those are, but that's what I'm going to be working on tonight. I've clearly got to get up and do my hair. I'm going to get my nails done today and finishing up any work that I have to do today. So it's been an eventful week with all the stuff that happened with the dog, but she is much better. She can get in and out of the crate as much as she wants to for the most part. We do have her in the crate at night and then we don't want her out in this room because she'll try to jump on this chair that I'm actually sitting in. It's one of her favorite places. So we don't want her trying to do any of that stuff, especially what the doctor said was once the pain medicine kicks in, she doesn't realize that she's hurting. And so she'll try to do things that she shouldn't be doing. So anyway, for the most part, she is doing great. And I will be back Monday for the next week kickoff. So I'll see you then. And we will end February and kick off March. If you have not seen my March TBR, I will put it up here somewhere. You need to go check it out because I got a lot of books to read in March. So I'm excited to get those going next week. And I will see you then. Bye.